Listing Diario Editorial for June 9th of 2022. How to get out of the haunted house. The spiral of criminality, evident and undeniable, that today overwhelms the country is taking an epidemic turn that every day fills with uncertainty and fears a society that still does not know how to save itself from it. Faced with the rise of a street mugger and settling scores between gang members and trigger men, the government has responded with a massive police military intervention operation in neighborhoods to detect criminals and seize illegal weapons. But now, adding the horrendous crimes and episodes of aggression that claimed the lives of the Minister of the Environment and other citizens carried out by people linked to public officials, the feeling prevails that we are surrounded by a culture of violence. Faced with the awe and fear that these events have aroused, voices from different spheres have been raised to suggest solutions that help stop crime. If there is one thing that is clear today, it is that the country lacks a true strategy to deal with violent, aggressive, and intolerant people who have brought so much pain and suffering to the community lately. In these circumstances, President Luis Abinader must reunite former police chiefs and former attorney generals who are in a position to contribute their experiences in handling crime. They have the assurance to advise or give their opinion on what to do in the current circumstances, now that they are freer to do so without the political limitations that condition the exercise of their positions. We believe that in a consultation like this, those former chiefs and former prosecutors will not have reluctance about providing precise keys that help to better manage the situation. Beyond the temporary responses to spike in violence and crime as is happening now. Listin Diario knows that this is an issue that occupies the attention of President Abinader and trusts that these former officials will patriotically welcome the idea of offering their experiences to tame this monster of crime and criminal aggressiveness that grips us today. For Listin Diario, voiceover and translations by Indira Rodriguez.